So our next test is called the spot test, and it specifically looks for fats and oils. Remember that fats and oils are members of the lipid group of organic molecules, and all those molecules are classified based upon the fact that they are hydrophobic. This, remember, is when a molecule does not like to interact with water. So we're gonna utilize this characteristics of these fats and oils in order to help us identify their presence in a solution. So here you see I have a piece of brown paper bag. Uh, this is the same paper bag you would find in Publix or Walmart, things along that nature. And this particular paper is what we call nonpolar paper. So go back to your textbook and kind of look up what that term nonpolar means. So what we're going to do, the reason why we call it spot test, is we're going to add our solutions onto this paper and we're going to see whether it is absorbed or not. Okay? So let's do an example. First we have a salad oil. And being salad oil, we know that this definitely is going to have fat and oil in it. So I'm going to add a couple of drops of salad oil to my paper. To contrast with the solid oil, I'm going to add a couple of drops of water, which we know is a negative control because it's not a fat or oil. Now, we can now look at how each of these solutions interact differently with the paper you can clearly see that the salad oil is being absorbed by the paper, whereas the water, it may be wetting the paper, but it is not being absorbed by the paper. And if I look at the reversed end of the paper, I now can see a greasy spot appearing on the opposite end of the paper. And this is why we call this the spot test. So let's look at the results of our spot test. The first solution we had was the salad oil. And as you can see, it was well absorbed by the paper. This has fats and oils, okay? This is our positive control. Our next solution is glucose. And again, you can see that although I'm wetting the paper, I did not get absorbed by the paper. This is a negative control. No fats or oils was in our glucose solution. Our next solution is sweat. In other words, animal fat. So think about lard in this particular case. And again, you can see that it was well absorbed by the paper. This is a fat or oil. Then we have margarine. And again, we see that it was well absorbed by the paper, so this is also a fat or oil. Corn starch, which we've already tested previously, so we should not expect a positive result in this particular test, and as we see, no absorption occurred. And then lastly, we have our water, okay? So water is also a negative control. We did not get absorbed by the paper. 